Hello, and in this video, we're going to start creating some of our sub assemblies to use to uh, put together a uh, subtle carabiner pin. Uh, to do this, the first one I'm going to start with is just going to be this uh, grip portion. Uh, so I'm going to start an assembly on this grip portion. So you can either right click and create assembly, or default, it gives you an assembly. So I'm going to start on that assembly. Uh, while I'm here, I'm just going to rename this one as my uh, uh, grip assembly. And this is the grip portion of our pin. Uh, so I'm going to start by just inserting, and I'm going to go to Part Studio 1, and I'm going to insert those pieces. Uh, hit my green check to accept, and it looks good. However, I'm going to right click and fix my object, and I could pull this grip off. And I'm going to do that just to make it easier to do this next step. Uh, once I do that, then I just have to fasten mate. I'm going to get the fasten on the center of my grip on the front portion and the center front of uh, my grip. Now I green check and accept. And I'm going to close off this fasten and we have a fully assembled uh, grip here. Uh, that one's pretty quick and pretty easy. Uh, not much to that one, so hopefully you can get that one done quickly. Uh, then to do your next assembly, we're going to hit the plus sign, uh, create assembly. And I'm going to name this one uh, my top. So I'm going to again rename uh, top assembly. Uh, top assembly, depending on how you created it, could have up to four pieces. Uh, I'm not going to put the one spring in right now. I might go back and add that later, but right now I'm not going to worry about that piece. Uh, so I'm going to enter it, and then I'm going to find my pen top, and I'm going to place that in. Uh, hit my green check to accept and again right now it looks pretty good things are in the right place I'm going to start by fixing so right click and fix usually that's what I like to do first so I, I don't accidentally move objects around uh, Once I've fixed it then I have a few other pieces I got to locate and get in the right spot uh, So I'm going to move this blue portion out and I'm going to move my pin out And ju that's just to make it easier to click where I need to click uh, With the pin I'm just going to do a fasten mate so I'm going to do a fasten mate, click on the top of that pin, and then the top of this hole. I hit our green check to accept, and now that's locked in place. Uh, physically, typically not how you would do it. Physically, typically you do put this blue piece in first, uh, but in this format it doesn't matter too much. Uh, next, I'm going to do my clip portion, and we're going to use a revolt mate for this one. So I'm going to make sure it's revolt because the clip's able to turn in and out. Uh, then I want to get the hole. I want to get that mate connector on the hole on the top inner. Uh, then that's going to go to the inner side. So I want to change my view so I can click where it's going to go. So I'm going to come underneath so I can click. It's going to go into this hole. And that puts it into place. Uh, we can hit our green check to accept. I'm going to do some editing uh, because we have to limit how it rotates. So right now it's in place and it wants us to do a new one. I'm going to go to revolt mate and double click on it and we can edit that right now it's at zero degrees and that's where we want it to start and we want to limit so one direction my minimum is going to be zero actually it's probably not going to be zero and then if i change my value you can see the higher value it goes up i don't want it going that way i want it to be able to come in until it hits the other side I don't want it to go past that other side. So you can see 47, uh, we're just about there, and then 55, it's touching into it. So I'm just going to set my maximum at 50. Uh, and then if I animate, you can see it can go in and clips into place. So that gives us our clip portion. Uh, so again, if you need to edit, you right click edit and you can add your limits i went from 0 to 50 and you can animate to see if that's working how you want it to work uh, so that gives us our top portion and our, our grip portion i'm going to do a separate video for the ink cartridge and the pen housing or the main housing of the uh, pen it's a little more complicated components uh, if we added in that spring portion that fits in here it's a little more complex to show that clipping motion that's why i'm leaving that out for now uh, thank you and good luck.